Listen carefully to my sincere advice to you in respect of your second question, Sister Amina. As you all know that marriage in Islam undergoes one of the five Islamic verdicts. It varies from being compulsory all the way to it could be haram. And in between there is a permissible, a recommended, the impermissible, or even the slight. If a girl or a guy, a boy, at marriageable age, they're doing their master's or PhD, they picked up a new job and they're living fine. Uh, marriage for them is simply highly recommended. Well, then when they start uh, having some desire towards other, you know, other people, then marriage becomes compulsory in order to maintain their chastity and to be pious. Go ahead and get married. Marriage in general is highly recommended. Why is that in Islam? Because check out the ayah of Surah Al-Rum in which Allah the Almighty said, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا So there is sakina, there is tranquility, there is cooperation and helping one another in hopefully upbringing pious children. So inshallah when I grow older, uh, my children will be, the, there will not be that huge gap when you marry at the age of 20 versus when you marry at the age of 30 or age of 40, then you have a child and you cannot pick them up. Okay? So the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when a person dies, all his or her good deeds will be suspended except from certain avenues. One of them is leaving behind righteous offspring to make dua for you, to pray for you. You know, Sister Amina, if there is nothing in marriage but that, that is very, very encouraging. Also, from my experience, there have been a lot of girls who gave precedence to the postgraduate education. No, I'm not going to get married before I finish my PhD, before I achieve my goal. Then the time zipped by very fast and she has become 40, 42, 45. And now she's calling Sheikh, I'm dying to get married and I'm feeling lonely between my job and home and no one is there, I'm scared. And she starts panicking. Obviously, the possibility of getting married for a girl at an earlier age and a younger age is much greater than when you become a little older. So Sister Amira, my sincere advice to my sister that when your parents suggest somebody, allow them to visit, come over, let's talk. And when you meet them, you may like him, you may find chemistry. So do not close the door from the beginning and say, no, 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 I'm panicking, I'm kind of nervous. Marriage could be the most beautiful thing that happens to a person in life because ta'awanu ala al-birri wa taqwa helping one another to be pious, to be righteous, to achieve our worldly goals and the hereafter goals. You know one thing about the beauties of being married Sister Amina, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, May Allah be pleased with a woman who gets up to pray at night. And then instead of praying by herself, she wakes up her husband to pray with her. Even a couple of rakas, honey, let's go ahead and pray. Qiyamul Layl. I'm too sleepy. So she puts her hands or fingers and she sprinkles some water over his face. And when he gets up to pray with her, Allah the Almighty will be pleased with both of them. Allah will be pleased with both of them. So we have a lot of beautiful projects. Not only fulfilling the sexual desire, which is there, it's essential. Not only being a married woman and having a family and having responsibilities, but there are a lot of beauties about marriage. So my advice to you is, yes, ask your parents, why doesn't he visit us? And we'll talk, we'll find out. You may like him. If you don't like him, say no. Try somebody else. May Allah bless you, Sister Amina.